Welcome back, everybody. Yes, Sir Nick here with another episode of Yes, Sir Land. Last episode, I did a little bit of exploring, discovered a village, and I fought some phantoms. I was able to take out one of three of them. I was able to finally create a bed, and we started breeding some cows. Now, between the episodes, I wanted to do some advanced recon, see some areas worth exploring on this episode, but I came across a an abandoned mine shaft. So, without further ado, let's start the exploring. Now, when I go exploring, I like to have a few pieces or a few items available with me. Uh, one of the things I like to have a travel bed. You never know when you need to sleep. Uh, I also have an extra door just in case we need to make a you know quick little shelter for ourselves. Uh, in addition, I want to go ahead and make a couple of new items. So I want to make a compass so that way I can always find my way back to my spawn point, which will lead me close to home. And I also want to make a clock, so that way, if I'm underground, I'll know what time it is, know if it's time to sleep or not. So let's start off with making the compass. So we start off with our iron ingots. Let's go ahead and put our recipe in there. So that is our compass. Now know with the compass, it does always point you to your spawn point. So not necessarily where your bed is, but where you first started off. That's why I like to create my first base around that area, so that way I can always at least find the general direction. Now let's go ahead and use some gold ingots and do the same thing and create our clock. Now this clock will tell me whether or not it's day or night. So right now notice how it's mostly day, but it's getting kind of, you know, mostly that blue, but it's getting a little bit of black. That tells me that outside, right now, it is daytime, but the sun is starting to set. So notice how it's going down. That's what my clock tells me. Obviously, when you're outside, a clock doesn't do you too good, unless you're traveling in a direction you don't quite know, you know, if you're heading east or west or whatnot. But I like to use it more so when I'm underground, which is probably where we're going to spend most of this episode. Now, in between the episodes, I did uh, craft a new iron pickaxe, but I have used it a little bit. I was able to go in, find a little bit more iron, a little bit more coal, just to help stock my supply. Notice that I also uh, threw some of our potatoes that we found at that village. I threw them in the oven here in the furnace and cooked them up. Give me a little bit of a food supply. I don't have a ton, so uh, we'll kind of hope that our food supply lasts just a little bit. I'm running a little bit of a risk, but I think I'll be all right. As you noticed, I found a little bit more of the iron. I found a little bit more redstone as well as uh, we the gold that we had previously found. So let me go ahead and move those there. And let's go back into our storage area. Put our gold back, our redstone, so that way we don't lose it. I also made an additional iron pickaxe, just in case. You never know when you're going to need another one. I have some extra wood, so I have some planks here as well as some logs on reserve. Don't need the zombie flesh. And I don't need arrows right now since I don't have a bow. Hopefully I will find some string in this abandoned mine shaft that we have down below us. Make sure I put my helmet back on, cover up my nifty beret. Always got to have that protection. The one nice thing about the armor is it will take damage instead of me taking damage. It's not foolproof. Uh, you will still take normal damage after the durability of the armor wears out, and certain attacks that are uh, stronger than others will have a, a larger impact and will hurt you. One thing when I was exploring, I did discover that I have this uh, waterfall right here. One of the nice tricks in Minecraft is if you have... Whoa, crud, hope I don't die. Okay, well, that wasn't nice, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, you fall down and die. <laughs> so, what I was going to demonstrate is that you can use the waterfall to go safely down, but then the skeleton decided to knock me down. And wow, he hit me with four hearts of, uh, of damage there. I know my armor probably took some of it. Uh, trusty old armor. As you can tell, the durability on my armor is going down. Uh, good old skeletons. You can always uh, count on them to show up when you least expect it. Especially when you're trying to give a little bit of a tutorial in another video. But as I was trying to demonstrate is you can go down and get to the bottom safely. Okay, where is he at? Oh, he's up there. So I'm going to go hide here. So what I was attempting to do is I was attempting to strip mine. The point behind strip mining is that you create a long 2x1 shaft 
and you just go across for several blocks in distance that way you can try to find different minerals now looking at my coordinates I am at a Y coordinate of 11 uh, most minecrafters will recommend that when you're looking for diamonds stay at about level 11 or 12 that's a good spawn point for them for diamonds as well as more times than not it will put you in a place that's above lava pools doesn't mean that you won't run into lava, but it's a higher chance that you'll be slightly above them or at the same level of them, so you can kind of walk around them and notice them before. So I put some granite up here to mark my spot. As I was doing my strip mining, uh, I came across some skeleton sounds, and I happened to peek in, and I noticed some of the telltale signs of the mine shaft. One of the things I did want to, you know, want to talk to you about. Notice I tend to put all of my torches on a certain side. So as I'm going in somewhere, I always put them on the right side. One uh, YouTuber that uh, I enjoy a lot watching is uh, Paul Suarez Jr. And I actually got that recommendation from him watching one of his uh, Survive and Thrive tutorials. And it was a great point to always know which way is out when you're caving. Especially when you get into a large cave and you're trying to find your way through. If you put them on the right, when you're going with them on your right, you know that you're going into the cave. When you turn around and they're on your left, you know that they're you're heading out of the cave. So I use that philosophy as I go through, and whether I'm exploring or strip mining, and it helps me find through. In addition, one of the tricks I've uh, picked up from Captain Sparkles, and I think he kind of picked it up from a few comments from a few of his videos, is as you're strip mining, go in a straight line, but then every so often, dig to the side. And that'll help you uh, as you go through and you're mining so that way you're not missing any diamonds or anything that's kind of on the side to you. I did get some redstone down here, so let's collect this before we get into the mine shaft. Yay, redstone. I love working with redstone contraptions, so as we get further into creating our amusement park, you're going to notice that I'm going to use a lot of the redstones to make contraptions and make some rides and stuff. I won't say that I'm the best there ever was, because it's not even close. Um, I like to experiment, and more times than not, I find that uh, I go for function more than uh, more more than aesthetics. But it's one of the things I'm going to work on. Ooh, hearing some weird noises in there. So notice I have a lot of minerals here. I'm going to do some exploring first, and then we'll circle back around and I'll collect you know the iron, maybe any gold or anything that I come across, as well as collecting these minecart tracks. But I just kind of want to see what we have. So we have a dead end there. I'm hearing a lot of weird noises. Woof woof. <laughs> Almost sounds like zombie pigmen, but we're not in the nether, so I don't know. It could be something else. Oh, there's a bat. Bats won't do you any harm, and if you hit them, they won't give you anything. They won't even give you experience. So they're kind of eh, like a nuisance. Notice that there's a lot of spider webs up here. If you actually use a sword to break them, they'll give you string. Uh, later on, when we go through and we get a chance, if I have silk touch on one of my items, so whether it's an axe or uh, more more commonly your pickaxe, you can actually use that silk touch and you can get the spider web down itself. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. I want that. I gotta make sure that there's no bad guys hiding around here. So, let's see. I have it marked with my way out. Just keep following the same philosophy. Go ahead and light this up. <gasps> diamond! Ooh, today's our lucky day. We get a mine shaft, we get diamonds, we have a treasure chest and a mine cart. Oh, ho, ho. the Minecraft gods are smiling on me today. All right, let's just look around, make sure that there's nothing nothing that's going to jump out, like no creepers or anything like that that's going to come kill me. All right, so I, I said that I was going to explore first, but I just can't pass up diamonds. I do hear a little bit of lava, so I do want to be cautious. I'm going to dig a little bit around the diamonds just to make sure that there's no lava underneath. Nothing's worse than finding a whole bunch of diamonds. Start digging for them, and then boom, all of a sudden they fall 
into the into a lava pool. Oh, I had that happen. I was so mad. Alright, let's see what let's see what kind of haul we got. Ooh, eight. Eight diamonds. That'll be enough to give me an iron pickaxe and an iron sword. Ooh, ho ho. No, wait, iron. Ha! Huh, what am I talking about? Diamond. I get a diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword. Oh ho. You know what? I can't wait. I just I just gotta do it. So let's go ahead and make a crafting table. Oh, it's my lucky day. I'm just, I'm salivating over this. Oh, woohoo! Money, 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 money. Minecrafter's best friend, just like a girl's best friend. Some sparkly diamonds. Not that I don't like my iron pickaxe, but oh my goodness, the durability massively different. So here you get about 250. Watch as I use my diamond pickaxe. Let's try it on this redstone that's over here. Oop. What am I doing? Durability 1500. So you have 1500 compared to 250. Yeah. I'll take my diamond pickaxe any day of the week. And since we're here, let's go ahead and say goodbye, Stone Sword. You were nice when I had you, but no more. Let's make a diamond sword. Oh, diamond in the rough. Now, do I have... I don't think I have enough to make any diamond armor. I could make a diamond axe. I'm going to hold on to my diamonds for now. Let's see what other things we tend to find. And we shall go from there. All right, now let's take a look at this minecart. Okay, I have some coal, so I'll take that. Ooh, a golden apple. Those are nice. Those are nice. Some powered rail. A couple of detector rails. Those will be nice when we build our roller coaster. Torches. Some gold. Some melon seeds. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see here. Let's add those there. Is there anything that we can consolidate? Anything that we don't need? Okay, let's see. Oop. So I just picked up a bunch of the stuff that I had. Ooh, hey, hello. Okay. Pick up. Just picked up a bunch of the stuff that I didn't want to keep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a bunch of it out here. And that way they'll despawn after about five minutes. It's just stuff that I don't need right now, right? Who needs granite? I have plenty of cobblestone. All right, and I don't need a stone axe. Should be good with my iron axe. And in a pinch, I have enough to make a diamond axe if I so choose as well. We'll hold on to our iron pickaxe, just so that we, we have it just in case. I don't think we'll need it, but you never know. Sometimes the mood strikes. Let's get our crafting table back. Let's grab that mine cart with the chest in there. All right, let's explore this way now. Diamond sword out, just in case. Ooh, sparkly gold. And just as a reminder, because I know I'm gonna, I might get some fun comments that say, hey, make sure you go back and get that stuff. I will. Uh, whether we do it on stream or you know on camera or I come back and do it in between, we shall see. Okay, nothing there. I'll put that up to show that I've been there. So this one's kind of a smaller mine shaft, which, okay, you know, it's not... not too bad, but let's, let's see what else. Is there any areas that I missed? Came from there. What was that? Was that a spider? It was a spider, I think. Anything over here? More iron. I hear you. Oh, is that your odd? Oh, you got me. I'll get you back. <laughs> Eat it, spider. 
Light up all these dark places. Keep these spiders from respawning. Okay, there's a cave. That was probably one of the entrances to here. Ooh, a lava pool. Okay, we want to stay away from that for now. Until we can get a bucket with some water, or I decide that I want to craft her. <gasps> Wait, what's that? What's that? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. We're just getting all sorts of fun things today. This, my friends, looks like it's... I don't know, could be a dungeon. Notice by the green cobble right there? Green cobble usually signifies it's a dungeon, and I'm hearing some skeleton sounds, so I wonder... If this is a skeleton spot, drop some of that. Let's see. I love me some spawners. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Whoa, hey. Good job, bro. Eat it, eat it. Into the, <laughs> into the lava. I gotta be very careful. I'm gonna light this place up real quick. Oh shoot! Oh crap! I'm too young to die! I'm too young to die! Okay, come on. Alright, eat axe! Eat my axe, bro! Can't die, can't die. Okay, run away, run away. Lord help me if I die. Oh! <laughs> spam click, spam, spam click, spam click! Run away, run away! Oh, two hearts! Oh my gosh! Two hearts. And I was hungry. Oh, that was intense. This is going to be harder than I thought. So, the way to capture a spawner, you have to light up the dark. Oh. Let's hope my food doesn't run out. Honestly, I was so scared I didn't even notice if there was a chest in there. A lot of times... Ooh. A lot of the times with these... Alright, let's go... Let's try a different approach. Because it was around... Up there. There's treasure hidden in, in the dungeon. So, that's... Let's do this... Uh, how did they say old-fashioned way? Did I kill him? No. At the very least, I'm going to get a lot of skeleton bones. Okay, there we go. Ooh, and there's two chests. Let's see if we got anything fancy. So oftentimes with these, you can find anything from rotten flesh, uh, all the way up to sometimes I've seen diamonds. There's been horse armor. There's been saddles. Um, you can find name tags. So let's see what we got. Okay, got a ton of string. Uh, that's That's nice. Got some wheat, okay, I, yeah, that, was, that was worth risking my life for, I guess. I got another golden apple, I'll take that. Some gunpowder, we'll need that later in life. And what else we got here, what can I do away with? Okay, goodbye, second iron pickaxe. A music disc, those are cool. Let's see what the other one has. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Uh, an enchantment book, something that I can add to my iron or to my uh, to my armor later. And respiration actually gives me a longer time with my uh, holding my breath. So let's get that. Let's see. Well, for now we can do without the wheat. Get the gold. Get the string. I'll come back for these. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to note the coordinates. So negative 147, 15, negative 274. Definitely come back to that. We'll build uh, an XP farm for these. 
and that will help us get arrows it'll help us get uh, experience point levels as well as getting uh, skeleton bones all right is there anything else i can dump that i don't need right now <sighs> decisions decisions huh yeah goodbye arrows oh no did i get an arrow stuck in me <laughs> I got an arrow in my foot. I'm kind of like Achilles right now. Ooh, I can't do it. I can't beat the Spartans. Ooh, they're going to get me. Okay. That's enough of that fun. Oh, those Greeks. I hear a zombie. Oh, and I see a creeper. And I see a skeleton. Or no, I don't see a skeleton. No! No! Oh. Ow. Oh no, my fist. Okay, what do we got down here? Got... I hear you, Mr. Zombie. Yeah, don't you love that? I had a professor that used to talk like that. Uh, today in accounting class, we're going to talk like this. Not really. He didn't really talk like that. That would be funny, though. If you had a zombie teaching accounting. I mean, I did have a tax accounting professor that I think was a zombie. I mean, he kind of just showed up and was super monotone and read from PowerPoint slides. So, yeah, there's that going for him. All right, I'm out of food, so let's run back up to base, regroup, and come up with another plan of action. I gotta get some more food. That is gonna be theme number one. I also need to get some more torches. Don't want to run out of those. Let's make sure there's nothing here that's gonna kill me. So way my days going so far. Now I'm swimming up. There we go. I'm swimming up the waterfall. So that makes it convenient, makes it nice and easy to get back to my base. Hide in here before anything else comes and gets us. Hide some of our loot in our chests. Our chest. Huh. Though I should probably create another chest as I'm coming up with more goodies and more treasures. Get rid of the gold, get rid of the melon seeds, the string. I have enough to make a bow now, and I do have some flint and some feathers, so I probably should. Yeah, let's make a bow. Protect ourselves. It's only the smart thing to do, right? I'll hold on to the golden apples. We'll need those when we face uh, other bosses. Get rid of the music disc. We can't play it yet. And our iron sword can go there. I'll still hold on to one of the iron pickaxes. Put the minecart in there. And we'll actually set up the second chest. Okay. Now I should go ahead and craft some more torches. Fifteen, yeah, sixteen sounds good. Okay, got those. Have some extras, which actually go back in here for now. Ooh, let's go make our bow. <laughs> I like bows. Bows make your life so much easier. If you can remember the crafting recipe. Do I have it backwards? I think I have it back backwards. Something like that? No. Then again, maybe not. So 
Like that? No. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I'm pretty sure it's these guys. Maybe it's set like that. And like that. Oh, hey, I got it. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 and don't cheat. Arrows are much easier, so you put in the feather. Oh, did I not grab the... Okay, oops. My bad, I didn't grab the flint. I need to get some flint, because you need an arrowhead. Flint, flint, where are you at? Okay. So you make it just look, look just like an arrow, so I can make three total arrows, three sticks, I have seven flint, but that's okay. So I got 17 arrows. Hey, it's something. Something better than nothing. Something from something is better than nothing. Okay, that's not at all how that song goes, but whatevs. It happens. Put the gold in there for now. Put our enchant book there. Put these up here. Don't need those. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, food. Food, 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 food. I need some food. And then we'll go for round two. I know this episode's going to be a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys are riveted watching me uh, explore this mine. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Spider. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Today's a good day to die. You know that? Yeah. Give me your arrows. Hmm, what do I feel hungry for? The baked potatoes did not last me very long, so you know what? I have a cow there. Ooh, I think there was some cows over here on the other side. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, wolves. Awesome. Okay. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm just going to get some cows, get some beef, and then next episode, we're going to have to tame a wolf. Ho oh, ho, I love dogs. I'm definitely a dog person. I don't mind cats. Uh, the cat has to be nice and not one of those, hey, I'm better than you types. So, you know, that eliminates like half of all the cats I know. But you get a nice cat that'll you know, curl up on your lap and let you pet it and that'll purr, that's nice. But I love, I love dogs. There's just something about being able to teach a dog to do certain things. My brother, his dog, they've taught it that when it has to go to the bathroom, it'll go to the back door and then it'll ring a little, uh, a little bell that they have. And I get the chicken too. Get some beef and some chicken. I know there's that age-old debate, but hey, it happens. Okay, let's go back across the river, try out my bow. Boo! Oh! Boo! <laughs> wow, I saw that. There's one. Okay. That only took me 12 shots. Jeez. That is one thing I need to practice. I need to practice my aim. Well, we'll see if we can get some practice in the mine shaft. You're fine, Mr. Cows. I got nothing against you. I got no beef with you, cows. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Eleven beef. Sounds good to me. We'll cook up our beef, and then we'll take one more shot at exploring the mine. And then we'll call it reps. Four and four. Perfect. Stick 
there. Beef. Beef and chicken. You know it'd be nice if you could actually make meals here. I know some of the mod packs out there will let you make meals. But just have some steak and potatoes. Maybe some green beans or asparagus. Oof, yummy. <laughs> ah, excuse me. bit faster cooking going on here. I am of the utmost patience, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> this should be enough. The cooked meat has a higher saturation of health and uh, feeding your hunger, so hopefully this will sustain us a little bit better. Gotta get that extra protein, you know? Alright, back into the mine. Okay. I'm not scared at all, no! Nah, we got this. I'm going with my bow, though. It's just my bow. I've got my bow. I'll shoot the bad guys. But I'll try not to fall into the lava. I love how my accents all over the place. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't put down torches while holding a bow. That's fun. Alright, which direction? Let's go this direction. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hopefully you don't die by somebody else's bow. Okay, let's go straight. Dead end! And yes, I will chop down all of this wood and all of these fence posts. And collect all of the minerals. I won't have time for all of that on this episode. But I'll do a little bit of in-between work. And then, if I come across anything else interesting, like some more diamonds, I'll be sure to record it. Squeak! So I've been looking for a sound to make. I don't know, because I'm weird like that and I like making noises. Um, I don't want to steal anybody else's sound when they're fighting. So that's, that's one, of the, one of my concerns. Maybe I'm not worrying about the right thing, I don't know. i got to find something. So if you want to, you know, leave a comment in the in the comment section and say, hey, it would be cool. Ooh, mine, mine cart. It'd be cool if you made this noise. I could try it out. You know, see how it fits. There we go. Let's get rid of some of that water and some of that water. Not that I don't like water, but my boots get a little soggy. Let's see what we got in this one. Did I really? Did I? Okay. I did. Ooh, activator rails. Those are nice. So the detector rails... Oh, I'll, I'll leave that in a later tutorial. Later episode. Ooh, a name tag! Oh, that's going to be perfect. So maybe we will get... Let's get our, we'll get our dog today, and then we'll name our dog. But in a later episode, I'll, I'll talk about... Uh, some of the extra things we can do with the the rails and, and the fun things that are available. Have we been here? No, we have not. It's like a perfect spot for a creeper to be there and just blow you to smithereens. Because those are fun times. Let's cobble you up. I don't want to lose the natural light source, so what I'm going to do is instead of blocking the hole, I'm just going to create a, hopefully without falling in, 
There we go. So now I still get a little bit of a glow from there. You know, because she was glowing. So we get then still the natural light from the lava that was there. No, I wasn't here. Okay, that was one of those automatically generated torches. Those always confuse me. I see the lava. I... Oh, those are Endermen that I keep hearing. Okay. I was concerned about the noises and I couldn't figure it out. It sounded like zombie pigmen, but I forgot it's Endermen. We haven't seen one of those yet. They're fun. They steal your blocks and teleport and hit you upside the head. Okay, let's just leave them alone for now. But I'm loving all of this raw material that's out here. Okay, that's the end of that spot. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, okay, I was stuck in spider web. Give me some string. I'll take it. Diamond, okay. It's a diamond in the rough. What was that? Oh, Aladdin. Seek thee out the diamond in the rhymond in the rough. Wrong side. Now to notice, or now notice that in this area there's a lot of space. So what I'll usually do is I'll just put one down there. A lot of exploring. Haven't come across any other mine carts yet. Which is... No, I won't say disappointing. It's not the right word for it, but... Okay, so I don't want to go that way. I already went there, so let's go this way. Oh, was that so, Mr. Zombie? Well, if I meet you, I will kill you. That's that's fine. Yep. Hi. No, oh, we both stuck in the bed. Oh. Oh. Hi. Okay. Okay, Mr. Skeleton. Boom. Okay. Not working. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's go with my sword. Close quarters combat. Uh. She said, Oh, another mine chest. Let's make sure I clear the area first. Nothing worse than finding a mine or a mine cart and then dying. Hold the line, clear the area. It's all clear, Sergeant. Alright, so let's check out this last minecart, and then let's run back upstairs if I'm not too lost. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Yeah? You wanna join the victim list? Okay. I'm happy to oblige. Oh, diamonds! <laughs> That's what I've been looking for. I love me some diamonds. Got some gold rail. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let's get that. Get those. Bread's nice. Get rid of that. I have plenty of string now. Let's grab the name tag and grab the power rail. Okay. Well. I'll only be able to keep, like, one of those. I'll eat the chicken. Oh, I heard... Oh, I didn't want those. No, there we go. I will definitely need these mine carts for later on when we continue to build out. So, yeah. Don't think I didn't see you, Mr. Creeper. Oh, 
um, when I build out uh, like a roller coaster or some of our other rides. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Let's escape with our haul. I think I've explored most of it. Jeez. Just love all of those. I have a feeling there's a spider spawner somewhere around here, just with that level of fun. Okay, so I'm going to follow all my torches on the left. So it'll tell me which direction to go. Then this way. Torch on the left, same, same. Follow the pattern. Escape with my life. So I do apologize that this video is a little bit on the longer side. Um, but I do want to get that. I do want to tame the wolf. Uh oh. Okay. Let's, let's go this way. There we go. I'm gonna get that wolf tamed, and we won't be able to name it today. So maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll. Uh, I think I'll wait. I'll clear out more of this mine off camera so that we don't have to watch the boringness of that. And then we will reconvene. We will tame one of those wolves. Hopefully by then I'll have enough iron, create an anvil, and I'll be able to create a name for our wolf. So how about this? Uh, if you're watching this, go ahead, do me a favor, click the thumbs up button, you know, to, to like the video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have a couple of these videos coming out a week. Try to do recordings on uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, sometimes I'll throw in a Tuesday there. Feel free to watch these videos, but in the comment section, feel free to give me ideas. Let me know what name you want me to name our dog once we get him tamed. Well, hey, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you had fun hiding in a mine shaft. We found some diamonds. Uh, hopefully it'll be enough to make some more tools and maybe some, iron or some uh, armor. Oh my goodness, it'll be fun times. Thank you very much, everybody. You have a great rest of your day. All right. Good night.